Trying to bring your body and your mind into alignment right at the breath. It's through the breath that the mind knows about the body and can order the body around. It's a good place to stay, to see both the body and the mind, and to see how they can be brought into alignment so they can fit together well. Sometimes heavy breathing is easy to, for the mind to follow, but it's not comfortable for the body. Other times calm breathing is very comfortable for the body, but the mind starts to blur out. So you have to find ways of adjusting so both of them are happy to be together. This is how we learn about things, is adjusting and experimenting. You think about scientists. If they're going to learn about an animal, they don't just sit and watch the animal. They try changing the animal's environment to see how that has an effect on the animal's behavior. Especially if it's raining outside, you might want to sit in the back porch. <laughs> some people respond, some people don't. That's how you experiment. So experiment with your breath. And even though the mind may not settle down fully, the fact that you are exploring, getting interested in the present moment, that's a step in the right direction. All too often we take the present moment for granted, and then we step all over it as we run to the past and run to the future. Because where the thoughts of past and future get created, well, they get created right here in the present moment. That means you have to push your present moment awareness out of the way. So these thoughts can have their space. So the present moment gets squeezed. It doesn't show its fullness. Years back when I was taking biology, we were given grasshoppers to dissect. My grasshopper was a pregnant female, and all the eggs filled the body cavity, and the organs of the poor female were pushed out of the way. And so I wondered that she survived at all. Well, it's the same with the mind in the present moment. It gets squeezed out of the way by thoughts of past and thoughts of future. So give it some space. Allow it to spread out and see what potentials it has. The Buddha found an awful lot here. Maybe you can find some of the same things as well.